All right, guys, welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. So we have a lot to talk about. You know, a lot of stuff has been coming out since the JP data download. We got LRP Loft and Trio, basically. Or I guess you could just call them P Loft Trio. I don't, I don't know what everybody's going to decide on later on. But let's go ahead and start looking at their details. Um, where did I have it? Here we go. So P Loft, he, he looks all right. I mean... He's a orb changer. Unfortunately, no defense on uh, either super attack, but it is what it is. Uh, he plays his entrance animation, which has one of the best intro OSTs in the game, if not the best. Um, he changes orbs uh, to changes fizz to AGL tech or ST. Yeah, so it's, I don't know how that works. If it's all four. Um, but I guess we'll see. Yeah, it changes Fizz key spheres to AGL tech or STR spheres. Yeah, so it's like random, so yeah, I don't know. Uh, attack and defense 120%, and then he gets an additional 40% when attacking, and an additional 40% if it's an ultra super. Key plus one per key sphere obtained, 70% attack and defense, and performs an additional attack that has a high chance of becoming a super when collecting an AGL key sphere. Uh, defense 100% and a high chance of an enemy's attacks when collecting tech key spheres. 100% attack. Oh, so he's like physical Broly trio. Uh, where it's just like depending on which key sphere you get is what he does. 100% attack and high chance of performing critical hit and seals enemy super attacks when collecting an STR key sphere. Forms an additional super attack when collecting seven or more key spheres. Then when there is an enemy whose name is Goku. Changes int key spheres to AGL tech or STR. Um, I mean, he looks all right. Like, uh, he's, he, like if he dodges, he he's fine. If he doesn't dodge, he dies. But that just means that you have to definitely get tech key spheres with him, because I don't think he'll be able to survive. Because the thing is that he doesn't get defense on any super attack. So like, if he got like thirty percent attack and defense on the both the 18k and 12k maybe you could make the argument that he'd be pretty good but if we look at the defense stats over here thank you Halvard as always for the calculations maybe I should just like open this in a new tab uh yeah you could kind of zoom in whoops with support or sorry without support he's that high defensively obviously the 12k and 18k is uh from his passive not from doing the super attacks then as you can see it's just like he has 500k defense without support, uh, 574k without support post super, but the high chance to dodge. So it's like, if you get that tech key here, he'll, he'll probably be fine. But yeah, so let's go ahead and take him out. Then we obviously have the Rebrian trio as well, or Universe 2 trio. Uh, it's not, it's mid, it's mid. So uh, let's go ahead and, and open this in a new tab as well and then just kind of zoom in and look at the information like that. Um, interest animation is actually pretty good. Uh, I like the animation. It's very clean, I would say. Uh, also, super attacks are pretty good as well, getting more defense on both the 12 key and 18 key and getting a greatly raised on the 18 key rather than just regular raise is pretty nice. Uh, they actually activate the entrance animation when there are two or more tournament participants, which is a very wide category, a lot wider than more, most people would think. Um, so then they change all of that, those orbs into tech. So STR, AGL, and Fizz go to tech for one turn. Uh, they gain three key for three turns. They get three key automatically as well, 122% attack and defense. Changes STR key spheres to tech key spheres. Medium chance to change AGL to tech key spheres meaning chance that yeah they have like a lot of orb changing in their passive then they get an additional attack that has a high chance of becoming a super if 66 percent or above when perform when attacking so remember that means that uh if they get below 66 percent hp in the middle of the turn that it won't activate perform an additional uh, uh, attack that has a great chance to become a super if there's another universal survival saga category ally attacking in the same turn then they get two key when uh additional two key and when attacking, gain an additional 122% and reduce damage received by 22% when collecting two or more key spheres, type key spheres. Chance of performance critical hit 22% for every two key spheres obtained. In my opinion, should have just been reduced damage received by 22% for every two key spheres obtained. 
similar to the crit just do up to 66 percent crit like i don't i genuinely don't know why they made it where it was separate i feel like it should have just been kind of the same uh we'll, we'll see or i'll talk about that in a reason uh, or I'll tell my reason in a, a bit they have uh an okay i guess transformation so it's just uh if they have a power of wishes category ally and it's attacking in the same turn and hp 66 percent or below or once six turns have elapsed and then they get the giant form for two turns we already know how broken giant forms are even if the giant form itself isn't that good um yeah and then over here they we see that they can do more um more orb changing again more key per uh key sphere obtained uh and then high chance of more critical hit so again it's just that it's like uh it's just like they have a lot of orb changing like what i was saying but it's like they don't really benefit too much from it like sure the they can get 66 percent crit but why why do they have so much orb changing <laughs> that's it's, it's just weird that it, it's a unit that creates so many orbs but the, their kit doesn't really reflect that because half of their kit is literally orb changing um let's go ahead and look at the stats so for the stats for the units are uh it, it's like i don't know when 66 percent or above they'll obviously have that chance to be additional so let me just pull it up over here so which part is it right here an additional fact that is a high chance right there um because then if they're below they they won't have access to that they get two type key spheres their defense jumps up dramatically but it only does it after attacking which is why uh the start of turn defense is still unaffected uh, as you can see here but like they have they'll have if they can get their supers off let's say they get two additional supers um they'll have 1.1 million defense rainbow uh without not talking about support it can get to 1.1 i don't uh, like getting all of these supers i would say is very unlikely that's why i don't i, I would probably want to say like 1.1 million is pretty good if you're saying turn one and that's not counting the um halvard also did where is it the calculations with the 17 and 18 support and it can get up to 2 million but that's like with 17 and 18 support so i don't know if you really want to count that because 17 and 18 themselves are also pretty pretty mid i would say as well um like leader skill wise and and, and like support wise they're like one of the best but yeah. all right well, so yeah i i would like if you're on jp uh, and you're not like a big rebrand fan I would, i'd probably say just to skip but now back to the to like what something that I, I wanted to to really talk about and it's this i think this is an amazing addition to the game so th this is obviously the first banner uh, the first coin to like that he was saying be implemented with the ability to exchange extra characters as well and if this works how people are saying where silver coins are limited coins you can only ch exchange um or you can only get coins if you already pulled that unit all right i'm starting to confuse myself let me start over so if coins the limited coins will automatically convert into gold coins for example and limited coins will only stay those limited coins for that banner and they don't make it or kind of similar to legends um then this is like an excellent addition like um, amazing like uh people aren't going crazy enough for it i would say like d no one's replying to this <laughs> if if it's seeming to me how it seems where you can take co people that you've already gotten from summoning on these banners and change them into coins right and maybe even use those coins that you just used to get to trade in those uh units that you already got from the banners like already rainbowed units 
then that's that's gonna make it where like the pity system is gonna help everybody because the original thing about the pity system being implemented was so many people were saying oh well i'm not gonna be able to hit it regardless uh i know that a lot of people have a, a difficult time saving uh i can i can relate to some extent like if there's hyper celebration spot if this goes the way that it seems having rainbow units is going to be even more crucial than before because if you can take units that you already have rainbowed and then exchange them for three coins basically three singles in like how many just off the top of your head comment 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 down below how many times you'll go into a banner and you'll pull like a side banner unit like 16 times you know everybody always has that unit where they'll just rainbow them or over rainbow them on some banner and you'll have some some really disgusting bad luck and you'll be like damn that sucked and i can't do anything with these units except for trade them into coins and now i have like a stockpile of coins that uh i'll use to use in, to get the next token fest or used to get the next uh unit now you can trade those in for the brand new unit if like i said if that's how it's it we'll see how it works when the the banners actually drop but this is insane like i, I don't know maybe I'm, I'm wrong and i could always put in the comments if i'm wrong and, we'll, and i'll put my head down and i'll be like i'm sorry you know the, cor the corporation style but if like i said if if this is how it seems this is like amazing this is an, an amazing update and hopefully this will give that incentive more for people to stop summoning on everything and to save because it's gonna like i said it's gonna be even more crucial because if you keep pulling a side banner unit over and over and over again you can finally do something about it you could turn those banner units into coins and then be able to hopefully save up enough of those coins let's say it's like 300 400 500 save up enough of those coins to just buy the new unit like that uh, again I, I, we have to see if that's how it works but i really do hope that that's how it works if 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 this coin this new uh limited coin uh basically auto converts into whatever the banner it comes from is so like a dokkan fest banner it turns limited coins into red yellow coin banners are going to turn the limited coins into yellow you know stuff like that but let me know what you guys think uh like i said i i really hope that everybody starts saving from now on and be a little bit more smart with their coins and be well not coins but a little more smart with their stones because it it is going to matter even more than before who, who knows but let me know what you guys think uh i'm always happy to have a discussion in the comments if you like seeing content like this make sure to subscribe it really does help out small channels like mine leave a like leave a dislike depending on if you liked or disliked the video uh, and I hope you guys have a great rest of your week and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.